Hoss needs pace to win in Kempton and Haydock, there's no doubt about that. But then to win the Gold Cup, you do have to have a huge depth of stamina. I'd say it's more a physical strength and a mental strength horses have to win all three. We were thinking he was so good, if any horse could do it, it was him. But that was just when we suddenly realised what an exciting horse he was. That year that Paul decided Carter was going to step up a trip, we were kind of stepping into the unknown. I remember going to Haydock thinking, God, this horse does stay three miles. With the pace he has, this could be something massive. I mean, I couldn't slow him down. It was a different element to the King George, but I remember thinking at Christmas time, like if he just does what he did in Haydock, he's going to be so hard to beat. You're going to Cheltenham Week thinking, I'm riding the best horse in the Gold Cup. If he stays, he will win. But he never seemed to miss a beat. To win those three races, it's very difficult. I think Carter had a lot of things that many race horses have, but he just seemed to have them all. He had pace, he had stamina, he could jump, he had longevity, he had a great temperament. He just had the whole package. Had so much class, so everything you did with him was easy. You just knew he was good from the start. The Jockey Club bonus of a million pounds is obviously a huge incentive. And then the way it's divided up, the owner share, the trainer share, the jockey share, and of course the stable lad share. The whole thing's a team effort. I've always said you're only as good as your team, and to be able to put some back to the whole team, especially the stable staff, is very good because they deserve it all. I think it's very nice of the Jockey Club to name the Chase Triple Crown in honour of Cardo Star. He was a wonderful horse, and it'll take a fair one to do it again. You have to have very special qualities to win all three of those, and it'll be hard to be done again, I think. If I was to describe Cardo Star in three words, simply the best. I'd say he's probably the best chaser there is and anyone's probably likely to see. One day hopefully someone will come along and be as good as him, but he's right up there with the very, very best and his record says it all.